Jubilant scenes at Nationalist Party headquarters as the results emerged late on Sunday. Government was snatched from them three years ago when the Socialists formed an unlikely coalition with Rajoy's Conservatives. Now the Nationalists are back. For the Basque Nationalists, the three years since 2009 have been a very bitter pill to swallow. But now they're back in power, though several seats short of an outright majority. There will have to be considerable political horse trading done before a coherent government emerges. It's a reality not lost on the Nationalist leader. Mr. Okulu's acceptance speech called for stability, a permanent peace. Coalition will be necessary, he said, and he committed himself to making the necessary alliances. The election campaign in the Basque country was notable for the absence of ETA, the radical Basque separatist group. For four decades, until a final cessation of violence a year ago, ETA waged a campaign of bombings and shootings which cast a dark shadow over Basque politics. But although ETA may be dormant, the separatist flame burns on with Bildu, the radical left-wing coalition whose impressive showing in these elections proved that demands for a Basque homeland are far from dead. We are very happy. We have triumphed. It's a historic result. Spain's regional governments may be autonomous, but a working relationship with Madrid is critical. Both parties who are expected to win the Galicia and in Basque country have stated that they will take tough steps to get through the economic crisis. Both will need to have direct dialogue with the central government in Madrid to achieve that. But if they can't see eye to eye, there will be serious tensions with the central government. Mariano Rajoy claims he loses no sleep over the independence claims of the Basque country, but it'll be a real wake-up call if Basque separatism is reignited. Paul Brennan, Al Jazeera, Bilbao.